Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a get ready with me. It is going to be a concert edition because I'm going to go see Jesse James in a little bit and I'm actually kind of rushing because my best friend will be here in 20 minutes and I still have to put my shoes and my skirt on. So if you guys want to see how I got this look and just a little bit of talk, I try to be a little chatty but I was kind of in a rush. So if you guys want to see how I put this look together then please keep watching. So I already have moisturizer. I'm now going to do my primer and I'm using this Angel Veal one. I've been trying it out for the past couple days. I'm not sure if I like it yet or not. It does make my makeup last a little longer but I don't know. I don't know yet. I haven't decided whether I hate it or I love it. Now I'm going to go with my NYX Total Control and I'm going to use my L'Oreal Beauty Blender or sponge, whatever. This actually works really well. I'm loving it more than my Real Technique sponges. I'm not sure why, it's just like, just so like soft on the face and you don't have to apply a lot of pressure to blend it out. It's really nice. It feels really nice on the face as well. And I even like it more than a beauty blender because I don't even buy another beauty blender because I have so many of my other ones. I really like this one. And this is my go-to foundation at the moment because it's so like sheer. Well, not sheer, but it feels sheer. I make it full coverage, of course. You can have it sheer, but it's just so thin and light on the face. I don't feel like I have a whole bunch of makeup on, even though I like apply a lot. Well, for me, I apply a lot and I still like it because I want the full coverage. But I don't want that like feeling of cakiness and this works wonders. I really like to cover up my freckles on the side. I just have a lot and I haven't even been in the sun and I'm still getting so many from just summer. They pop up because I haven't been to the beach or anything because I got my last laser this week. So I haven't been able to be in the sun and I'm going on vacation next week. Um, just a short vacation with the family. We're going to Lake Havasu and we used to go when I was little all the time but um, now we're going with my other cousins. We have all going every summer. This is the third year we've done it in a row and it's just a quick little vacation with everyone. We just take my uncle's boat and I try to ski because I finally learned how to and it's not that bad. It's actually pretty easy. I'm trying out this new concealer. It's from Ulta Beauty. It's the full coverage liquid concealer and it says it's waterproof. And this is in the color light warm. I just picked this up today and I think it might be a little, oh no, perfect. Um, I just picked this up today because Casey Holmes said that she liked it and I wanted to try it and it looked full coverage like crazy. So I want to try this out. Hopefully I like it. I mean, it's already on my face, so it's gonna, it's gonna stay on. I mean, not bad. Feels good on the skin. My little pimple does not want to get covered, and that has been happening every day. The product just doesn't stay. Even though I use a light hand to make sure the product stays, it like just doesn't want to get covered. I've actually never gotten a pimple there, so I was shocked when I got one there. And I'm going to uh, set that with this uh, Catrice Cosmetics Prime and Fine Metafighting Powder. And I've tried this out for quite a while now. And I really do like it. I think I've used it in a video, perhaps. Make sure this is all not creased before I set that up. I like to use this powder where I mostly get oily because it says it's mattifying. But I will go in with my Laura Mercier and set the rest of my face. I haven't been really using it underneath my eyes just because I've been so dry. And I like to set this on my whole face. And I think I like it better. I'm like all over the place trying to focus. And my camera got too hot. So I had to let that cool down. But now I'm going to start on my eyes and I'm going to go in my Tarte Pro Palette. And I'm going to grab the color classic right here and put that on my lid to set my lid as always. So then I'm going to go in with bold, this color right here, pick that up, put that in my crease. And I know you guys want to see a favorite like brushes video. It will come out soon. Someone said Morphe's and someone said my favorite brushes of all. I think I'm going to do my favorite brushes of all 
And I do have Morphe brushes that are my favorite. And they are included in that. So I'm going to do that soon. So I'm going to just going to blend that in. I'm going to take it out a little bit more than I normally do past that lash line so it can blend out nicely. And then I'm going to use a little bit of this shade right here. It's called Whimsy. This, this red shade right here. Just a tiny bit and I'm going to put that on my outer corner just to deepen it up a bit and add some red tones to it. I'm going to try to get close to that lower lash line. Then I'm going to go with my big fluffy brush and just blend that. It's the brush I use for my transition shade and this is like my go-to brush. So you will see that in my favorite brushes video. I will mention this brush because I do like every single look with this brush. Then I'm going to deepen it up a little bit more and I'm going to use this color Edgy right here. And I'm just using it on a small detail brush and just deepen up that corner. Just try to keep that in the corner. Just like that. I think I like that. I'm going to bring that brown color where I, where I like blend it into my lash line. I'm going to do that. I'm going to add some more red because I feel like I blended it all off. I like how looks never go where you want it to go. Like I was going to do something completely different and I like this better. I started to bring this red a little bit more up. I think I'm going to do that on the other eye. See how things just change and you didn't even want it to change. Yes, 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 yes. Then I'm going to use that gold that I want to put on my lid. And I'm using this one right here from the Lorac Pro Palette. It's just called Gold. This palette was one of the first palettes someone gave to me, which was my cousin, Christy, who gave me this for Christmas and I wanted it so bad and I got her for Secret Santa or she got me for Secret Santa and I put this on my list and thank God I did because this palette is like the best. I, all these colors got a beating, especially that mauve color, so beautiful. I'm just gonna put this halfway on the lid and then I'm gonna blend it. Sorry I'm not so chit chatty but I'm trying to focus while I'll try to get done at a decent time so I can actually get ready and I mean like get dressed. Then I'm going to get those two colors that I used earlier, the edgy and the whimsy, and smoke out my little lash line. And I'm going to connect the top. That's why I blended it out a little bit more further out than normal. I'm going to make it a little bit brighter, the gold. With this color right here on the Pro Palette, it's called Glam Like Show. Yes. Exactly where I wanted it to go. Cool. See what happens when you don't plan anything, it comes out better than what you thought. So then I'm going to do my lashes. And I'm using Lights Camera Lashes from Tarte. This mascara is bomb. Oh, I tried? What was the mascara I tried? I think it's the other Tarte mascara. I will let you guys know what it was. I did not like that mascara at all. That mascara, every time I put it on, flakes would just fall off. Not that they would mess up my makeup, because they were just like dry flakes. I was like, what is going on? And I do not like it at all. And thank God it was like a little tester and not the real like full product that I bought, because I would have been devastated to spend money on something that I don't even like. I really like this one though. This one works really great. So I'm guessing I'm not putting on eyeliner. But I think I'm going to do a smoky like liner type look with eyeshadow instead. I really don't have the patience at the moment to do my liquid liner. And I'm not trying to mess up. Like when you're not feeling right, you know, when you're in a rush. I feel like just ditch the liquid liner. <laughs> okay, so I got my brush from Vanity Planet that I got. And I'm going to use the color. Let's try Stable first. And maybe let's mix it in with espresso. And this is just an eyeliner brush. And I'm just going to map out where I want my eyeliner to be. Just like if it was liquid liner. Like so. And then I'm going to use a smaller little brush. And I'm going to make it into that like wing. Just very lightly, like that. Lashes, I'm going to use my D-Wispies. I need to check my time because I might be running out. No, I'm actually good. Cool. But see, the thing with my best friend is that she'll tell me, like she said, 5.30, right? It's 5 now. 
But then she texts me, traffic is terrible, so six. I will be ready at six since she said six. But then she'll text me on my way and I'm barely putting my clothes on. Happens all the time. All the time that she comes earlier than the time she says she will come. So I always have to tell her, when you tell me six o'clock, I'm not gonna be ready at 5.50, 5.55, nope. You will see me ready at six o'clock when you said you would be at my house. Not any earlier than that. So I always gotta tell her, cause the whole world don't understand. She don't understand. So I'm going to pop these on and then I will be right back. Okay, so now I'm going to finish my face and I'm going to use this Bobbi Brown bronzer that I mentioned in my makeup haul video. And I'm gonna use it to, if I can open it, I would like to use it to, there you go contour my face a little bit since it looks like it's a very nice shade and I'm just using this big fluffy brush to do it and I'm just going to stamp it on kind of and do an upward motion that's a very nice color I like that it's a very cool toned bronzer then I'm going to use my NARS bronzer again bronze up my face this bronzer is just everything then I'm going to use this Tarte blush in Feisty. I like that name. It's a very matte bronzer. It's very like muted. I like it. Apply that. I'm actually applying more blush than I usually do, guys. This is a shocker, but I like this. Then I'm using this new highlight that I got from Artist Couture. It's called Time and Glow Powder, and it's in the color... I forgot what color I got. It came in my boxy charm. And I think it was Luminati. Let's check. Um, yes, Luminati. So I'm going to just apply very little because this thing can get crazy. I know this stuff is literally insanely good. So. Oh. Ah. This is a beautiful color. Oh my gosh. You know I like those champagne colors. And this one, like, my highlight will be glowing today. Jesse James is going to notice my highlight on stage. That's what I'm going to go see today, by the way, guys. Lips? Oh, no. Let's set this face real quick. I'm using the Urban Decay All Nighter. So I went to go change my shirt. This is a shirt I'm going to wear, so you guys can see. I don't know if I'm going to wear this bralette. Because it's a little bit like, whoa. And I don't know yet. But the shirt is from Laura's Boutique. And I'm going to use this NYX lip liner in natural. I'm just going to like literally put it everywhere. Like if this was a lipstick color, I would wear it all the time. Even though I still wear this lip liner all the time. Because um, yeah, that's how small it is. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Then I'm going to put on my Bobbi Brown lipstick that I got in brownie. And just a tad bit. Ooh, this goes really well. Mwah. And that completes this look. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe before you leave. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!